the little the little boy. Where did there you are? forwarding the Turian Counselor information on the Prothean device. It can't be built without Council support, but he's not budging until their Primarch is safe. I know. Are you alright? Well, I've been better. I just dreamed about a child that I watched die on Earth, so... I've been better. I didn't get what you'd call a good night's rest. There's more to it than that, isn't there? What's really bothering you? Everything. Everything. Aiden getting hurt. Everybody back on Earth. When the Reapers hit, I could hear people screaming in the streets below me. We left a lot of them behind. There's no way for you to save them all. But I know you're doing everything you can, and you'll get back there in time to help. I hope you're right. Don't blame yourself, Commander. Commander Shepard, I'm Specialist... Oh, uh, I, I beg your pardon. I thought you were alone. I was just leaving. Commander Shepard, I'm Comm Specialist Samantha Trainer with Alliance R&D. I was part of the team retrofitting the Normandy after you turned it over to the Alliance. There weren't many of us aboard when the Reapers hit. Yeah, that's okay, though. Slow down, Specialist Trainer. You're doing fine. Thank you. I worked in a lab. I never thought I'd be serving on a ship. Why don't you tell me about the retrofits? The ship's in line with Alliance regs now, and it has new, top-of-the-line, quantum entanglement communicators. In fact... Admiral Anderson had intended to use the Normandy as his mobile command center. That's no longer an option. Yes, I heard he chose to stay and fight. I in any event, I'm honored to serve under you, Commander. For as long as you need me, that is. They only sent me here to oversee the retrofits. Shepard, some of our systems require further testing, and Specialist Trainer has been extremely effective during installation. I would prefer that she remain. Got it, Edie. Wait, since when does a virtual intelligence make requests? Edie's an AI. Fully self-aware. Oh, I knew it. I knew Joker was lying. Jeff requested that I pretend to be a simple VI to protect myself. I apologize for the deception. Thanks, Edie. And I apologize for all those times I talked about how... attractive your voice was. Anyway, shall I give you a tour? I think you'll be impressed by the new upgrades. Okay. In the CIC, you'll find the galaxy map where you can set the Normandy's destination. You can also check your messages at your private terminal. The War Room houses a strategic command center for mission-specific intel and war analysis. 
Okay. The shuttle bay contains an armory where you can modify your equipment between missions. Finally, Liara has set up a lot of hardware down in the old XO office on deck three. I think she's claimed that room. And there you are. Still the same ship as before, it just flies Alliance colors now. Speaking of which, I believe Admiral Hackett would like to speak to you at the VidCon. Okay. Commander. Udina updated me on your meeting with the Council. Sounds like they're running scared. Yeah, and as much as I hate to say this, I can't, I understand. I hate that they're not helping, but I understand that they want to put their people first. I get it. Even though I don't want to get it, I get it. We did present them with a lot of unknowns. They're feeling threatened and want immediate solutions, not theories. Theories are all we've got right now. What's your plan? I'm trying to get the Turian Primarch for a summit meeting with the Asari and Salarians. I'll bypass the Council and appeal directly to their leadership. That's good, I like it. This is where we start laying the groundwork for our counterattack. Unfortunately, we don't have a whole lot to back it up right now. Then build alliances. Gather everything and everybody you can for the cause. What about the Prothean device? Find me people who can help build it, and if you can't, I'll take ships, soldiers, supplies, whatever you can get. We need to keep hitting the Reapers across every theater of war they open. Buy us time to figure out the device. And when it's finished? Assuming it ever is, we pool all our resources. Think of it as a giant armada for delivering the device, when the Reapers are most vulnerable. The stronger you can make that armada, the better the chances of punching through. And what about Earth? What about Earth, sir? We'll just have to hope Anderson and what's left of the Alliance forces can hold out until we've dealt with the enemy. I understand. Good. Then make it happen, Commander. I'll be expecting regular updates on your progress. Hack it out. Okay. All right, I guess we need to go check out the ship. War assets. Hey, well, we have a lot of Alliance, that's for sure. We need to get everybody else, though. Exactly. Commander, the Alliance has found a new Cerberus lab on Sanctum. Admiral Hackett would like you to investigate. Okay, uh, I will do that. Commander, come to check on your new recruit? Just wanted to see how you were doing. Still trying to get my bearings. When I was working on the Normandy's upgrades, I left at the end of the day. I didn't even have a toothbrush or a change of clothing until I made some emergency purchases on the Citadel. I mean, I could have helped you with that. Next time you need something, just ask. You're not alone here. Oh, it, it, it's no trouble, Commander. I'm sure you have larger concerns. We can put in a requisition order. My toothbrush is a Scission Promark 4. It uses tiny mass effect fields to break up plaque and massage the gums. It costs 6,000 credits. Okay, yeah. You're on your own with that. In any event, I appreciate you giving me the chance to stay. Was there anything else? Well, I mean... Let's talk about your lab job. You came from a lab, and now you're on a military ship. You worked in Alliance R&D? Yes. You'd think quantum entanglement would make communication easy, but imagine incorporating multiple incoming sources and then networking them with extrapolations of time lag data to construct a coherent situation GUI. It's an exciting challenge. Um, for me, anyway. <laughs> okay, so you're kind of a nerd, I get it. That's fine. What made you join the military, though? I do end up in the military anyway. My family didn't have money for university. When the Alliance saw my aptitude scores, they offered me a full scholarship. I served my required years after graduation and decided to stay. I really like the challenges of the lab. 
Al although I'm sure I'll grow to love frontline service as well. Well, we will see. And what about what about how you're dealing with this war? I'm surprised you're worrying about a toothbrush. We got bigger problems right now. Oh, believe me. Seeing the Reapers on Earth was terrifying. But I won't help anybody by bursting into tears here in the CIC, will I? Being here on the Normandy helps. If anyone in the galaxy can stop the Reapers, it's you. And if flagging your messages and managing strategic intel helps you in any way, then it's worth it. All right, well, what about your family? Where are you from originally? A colony in the Terminus systems, actually. Though I studied on Earth at Oxford. My parents were from London. They loved Earth, but they wanted the freedom a colony life could offer. If they stayed in London, I imagine they'd be dead right now. No, let's let's not let's not go there. First of all, you need to stay focused, and two, let's really hope that they're not there. A lot of people back on Earth are still alive and counting on us. Quite true, Commander. All right, well, thank you for the conversation, and uh, good luck with that toothbrush. Carry on, specialist. All right, let's, uh, do I have mail? Yes. Uh, with the Alliance stretched thin across the galaxy, we need your specific talents for a series of ops. These missions will open doors for the Alliance in places we can't touch through conventional means. Okay. Wait, send a dot mission dossiers to your operations team. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Letter is formally acknowledge your reinstatement to the Alliance Navy per Admiral David Anderson's recent verbal communication. Under emergency war powers, you are hereby authorized to assume command of the Normandy SR2. You are directed to begin interdiction operations. Okay. Uh, all Alliance personnel, this is a galaxy-wide alert for all human territories. Fleet Admiral Haggett has declared threat condition Saber 1, enemy presence confirmed in the Sol system. Earth under Reaper attack. Yeah. My dog. I was a contractor working on the Normandy's haptic interface when it was in dry dock. Your VIED emailed me to let me know I left my dog mech on board. I'm all the way out in Terra Nova now and would hate for you to go a million clicks out of your way to drop off my dog. Please just take care of her. She likes exploring sniffing chemical trails and 750 volt outlets. Okay. We have a dog. Uh, Citadel, where is the Corian fleet? The latest intelligence shows that the Reapers are taking system after system at a feverish pace. Members of all races are fleeing their stations, colonies, and in some cases, their homeworlds. This kind of forced exodus might seem especially familiar to the nomadic Corians, who were pushed off their homeworld by the synthetic Geth centuries ago. But as the galaxy pushes back against the Reapers, the Corians are conspicuously absent. Orion and Alliance spokespeople cannot provide the fleet's current location. Okay, that's not good. Edie, while we were in dry dock, Joker suggested a small welcoming gift would be appropriate to have on hand should you be reinstated as commanding officer. As the ship does not have the capacity to accommodate the dancers, he suggests. <laughs> of course he did. I chose something from the official Systems Alliance catalog. Soldiers who have held an N7 designation for five years or more are entitled to a commemorative what a jacket. Okay, thank you. Glyph. Oh, Glyph. Some of the data you found allowed me to research an upgrade for you. Simply access the terminal in Dr. Tassoni's office. Okay. Cerberus has attacked Eden Prime and is now occupying the colony. Wonderful. Alliance forces are stretched too thin right now to attempt to liberate the colony, but we've been doing what we can to covertly aid the local resistance. Okay. I guess we're going back to Eden Prime. That's nice. First of all, I would like to thank you for allowing me to come aboard your ship. I'll prove to you how valuable. Second, I know you you have done some work with Emily Wong. Yes. She was our sole communications correspondent on Earth. These were her last messages? What? Thank you for bearing with us. Earth is currently experiencing a calm boy outage. He's talking with Dr. Lasham at UCL. She was on Earth? Faster than light, but can only talk to matched particle. Also limited to text. This QEC talking to a sorry space. 
near Trekalon. Loss of convoys. Huge financially. Earth cut off from Extranet. Dr. Marionette says could be environmental. It's not. Okay. Just had minor quake, knocked out power. Emily Wong, FCC News here at UCLA, trying to find reason for Earth's convoy outage. Just been told me to see something outside. Something in Skyline, not cloud, ship maybe? Seems too big, like Godzilla. Oh. Has six legs. Tentacles? Those are the Reapers. And see an eye or something. That red light I mentioned is among the tentacles. This is Emily Wong back online at UCLA on Earth. Unknown alien ship just landed nearby. Yes. This thing can't be friendly. The ship made loud blare roar. Alarms in Skycar lot are going off. No broken windows. People coming outside. Big crowd on campus. Now that tentacle is extended, recognize this looks like Geth flagship. This is why the convoys were out. It just moved, lifted a leg. Could be coming this way. Need to move. Emily Wong back online taking QEC to report on ship. Officer Aiden Pearson coming up, coming with us to guard it. You know, on little mass cart. Pearson is driving, Dr. M is sitting shotgun for those just joining. Earth's convoy is out, massive Geth flagship in Southern California likely cause. Storms of sky cars are careening out. Wow. Van GPS, Omnitool GPS, looks like sats down. We're flying over the ground car freeways. Ground car traffic is thick. Dumped camera gear, not much good now. Pearson says mushroom cloud near Fort Irwin. Aliens here to kill us? Doesn't make sense. They would have hit downtown. Oh, well, yeah. <clears throat> Dr. M is trying to call Pearson's wife on her Omnitool. Phone network is down. Cresting Hill into San Fernando Valley right now. A lot of smoke from Van Nuys. Meteorites or something dropping from the sky. Wait, not people. Aliens look deformed, lumps on back, not like Krogan, whole upper body. The Reapers. The Reaper forces. Aliens hit her middle with energy weapon, whole building destroyed. Alien attack, currently fleeing Van Nuys Airport. Aliens have guns as well as energy weapons, but are on foot. Trying to report on routes. They're coming at us head on. Everyone fleeing LA, do not go north on 405. Another ship thing standing over a freeway. Firing beams, destroying sky cars, made holes in freeways. Spikes on the side of the road. Lad the Impaler spikes. Oh yes, those spikes, yeah. Saw similar ones when Geth hit Citadel, yeah. Spikes hung with human bodies, more of the lumpy aliens dragging people towards them. Hundreds of them. Some lumpies shooting people, others taking people alive. Get out if you can. This is Emily Wong reporting via QAC on the alien attack. We didn't get hit. It must not have wanted us too bad. Still in the valley. Smaller fighter drones over the mountains. Officer Pearson is very concerned if aliens targeting civilians he believes his wife at home could be in danger. Everyone's in danger. Trying to figure out where to go next. Uh, Earth is being invaded. Alien forces are exterminating all resistance. Dr. Marionette and UCLAP, UCLA PD Officer Pearson planning next move. Dr. Marionette and I have no family on Earth. I have co-workers in San Jose, but not sure how to reach them. Pearson's family is in Inglewood, so that's where we're going. Only good thing about giant death machines is you can see them a long way off. That's true. We're staying off the big roads, blending in with the buildings. That's probably a good idea. Someone calling invaders Reapers. 
Radio says Alliance Dreadnought shot down over Vancouver. Gerson says he has spare guns at his house. Can only help but looking at thing firing on Lax. We're at Pearson's apartment. Change of plans. Pe Pearson's wife left a note. Their son never made it home from high school. Oh my. That's not good. Buses are all ground only. Students may be trapped. Officer Pearson loaned a pistol. He also got a vest. Reached the school. Can see an open air basketball court filled with spikes. Oh my. Humans pinned in by lumpies. He's calling them lumpies. Pearson and I will get close. Pearson dead. Full thermal. Flip into alien and it still killed him before it died. Got weapon from Pearson's target but backed up. Back up arrived. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry we tried but we couldn't. This is Emily Wong. Trying to save students at... Pearson, Officer Pearson died trying to save students at his son's school. One of countless such heroes. More news on the aliens. When Officer Pearson downed one, another ignored me. As best I could tell, it was eating the fallen. Alien. Oh. Uh, believes it would help to discuss the alien weapon. The weapon is meter long, more curves. <sighs> she has theories. Micro black holes, fusion reactions. They're attacking civilians and penning us in the cities for some reason. Hands are burned. No water pressure long term will be deadly. But surrendering leads to mercy. No. It's still not clear what these Reapers want. I should have told her. I should have told her. I should have talked to her. Not even clear what they are. Cannibals are not are clearly not geth. Four eyes like Batarians, but some kind of cybernetic implants. All right, I'm just gonna skip all the way down because, and I will read all this later. West Hollywood prison quiet, but feel the spikes in the prison yard. They must have been monitoring our communications for years. Do not go to any institution where people gather, they are targets. This is Emily Wong broadcasting from the rooftop near Douglas Stadium. Marching like POWs, but these aren't soldiers. They're just people who got captured during their morning commute. This isn't how humans are supposed to die. We beat nuclear war. We beat overpopulation. We can't go like this. Earth is falling. Alien fighters moving to intercept. We've got to get to the airport. Met with Lieutenant, Lieutenant Colonel Gordon Soto of National Guard. Everyone glad. Message getting out. See fighter drones. Can't just lie here. If we die, QEC dies and Earth goes dark. Alliance ships overhead. Gunships holding the line. We're in a van. Being rebroadcast everywhere. To everyone I may have endangered, I am so sorry. I can only hope the information we got out is worth it. Hit bullets. A reaper in front of me. Okay. Wow. Well, she went out fighting. The one reporter that I really liked and she went out fighting. That's probably why I liked her. Because she was a fighter. Wow. 
Chief Cortez. While we're docked at the, the Citadel, we received a large case marked for your personal attention. It contains a lot of high-end weaponry. Okay. Give me a chance. Thanks for giving me a chance. Well, thank you for giving me that message about Emily Wong. Get us some help. We'll be in touch. I've got everything set up in the med bay. Okay. It's all quiet. I've set up. It's all. If it's all right, I set up equipment in. The, okay. That was a lot. That was a lot. I need to go check in with the Joker. I need to make my way eventually to my cabin, but I need to go down to the, what, shuttle bay? Joker? Hey, Commander. You know, I had my doubts about the Council, but after years of ignoring your warnings, they're finally willing to step up and tell you they just can't help. Yeah, I mean, you're, you can't possibly be surprised, right? They've spent years denying the threat. You think they'd be prepared now? I was kind of hoping that maybe they were planning in secret and just not telling you about it because, you know, Cerberus. All right, then. All right, we have to take a trip down to the shuttle bay. Uh, I haven't met Lieutenant Cortez, so I believe that's where he is. Oh, there's the dog. You must be Steve Cortez. Lieutenant Steve Cortez, shuttle pilot. We've got news about our supply chains, Commander. All right, great. But you can relax. Nice to meet you, Lieutenant. What's going on? Sorry to just jump in, Commander. There's so much to be done, I get caught up in the tasks at hand. He's always like that. You need to chill out, Esteban. So you do care, Mr. Vega? Or is that the Cerveza talking again? So what's happening with our supply chains, Lieutenant? Alliance procurement chains are in chaos, but the Citadel's economy is still running. I can network to Citadel retailers. You can view inventory and make purchases right from this console. When I network to a new store, I'll let you know. It does cost more to coordinate delivery to the Normandy, so it's cheaper to buy supplies when you're there. So, you're my shuttle pilot, but you're setting up procurement chains? I wasn't assigned as Normandy's pilot. Not much need for one on a dry dot ship. I was overseeing the retrofit of the cargo hold. I'm quite familiar with the operation and maintenance of the UT-47 Kodiak and the M-44 Hammerhead. In my experience, it made sense for me to take over as shuttle pilot when we left Earth. Especially given Mr. Vega's love of mid-air collisions. To save the day, pendejo. I'm also responsible for logistics, making sure the armory and shuttle are properly stocked and maintained. Wow. Sounds great. What's your service record? How long have you been with the Alliance? About ten years. I enlisted in First Fleet serving on the SSV Hawking, flying F-61 Tridents mostly. I love the Trident. It practically dances in low admo. I spent as much time tinkering on my bird as flying her. Got a bit of a reputation. So you can fly fighters and fix them? Yeah. And I got a knack for procurement, too. They were grooming me for CAG, but my skill set made me more valuable commanding a flight deck. They assigned me to the Normandy retrofit team about five months ago to oversee all cargo bay modifications. Wow. All right, let's talk about the ground vehicle. What happened to the M44 Hammerhead? <laughs> I was sent to the tech labs for a retrofit. To afford mobility with such a small ESO core, its design sacrificed armor plating. The lab engineers are trying to improve that. After the Reaper invasion, those labs are probably just a pile of rubble. You're probably right about that. All right, and what about the shuttle? The Kodiak seems a bit different. Good eyes, Commander. This is the UT-47A Kodiak. It's got an upgraded ESO core and prototype stealth technology based on the Normandy design. For quick drops, I can get you in and out virtually undetected. She flies like a brick, so that's why you need a good pilot. That's true. All right, and let's talk about the armory. Do you maintain this armory? I share that duty with our illustrious Mr. Vega. Though I believe the only weapon he really cares to maintain is himself. You know you love the show, Esteban. <laughs> the first retrofit we did was to move the armory down from deck two. I'm not sure what Cerberus engineers were thinking. 
Now you get off the elevator, pick your gear, and head right into the shuttle. Just like the original Normandy. Welcome back to the Alliance, Commander. All right, and let's talk about your family. Are they on Earth? Please tell me they're not on Earth. You were stationed on Earth. Do you have family there? I'm an only child. Lost my parents years ago. I had a husband back when I was stationed at Ferris Fields. The Collectors took out the whole colony. I'd rather not talk about it. I'm... I'm so sorry. I won't... I won't push. Keep up the hard work, but don't kill yourself. Yes, Commander. Okay, well, let's check around. Anything interesting over here? Oh, there's a couple of things. All right. Found some models. That's interesting. All the way down here. What about over here? Anything over, uh, you know, hiding anywhere? Oh, what's this? Well, what do you know? Games. Hey, Shepard. How'd it go with the council? Same as usual. Non-committal. Unhelpful. Bet they still wanted you to help them out, no? Yep. We're going to rescue a Turian Primarch from Palavan. <sighs> Sounds like fun. Never been to the Turian homeworld. <sighs> you come down here for something? Or are you just looking? <sighs> I'm just looking? I did just come to chat. But I might stay for the show. <sighs> Have to work harder than that if you want me to blush. <sighs> Not sure what there is to talk about. <sighs> You already know my service record. I don't, actually. I didn't have access to personnel records when we met. Right. Forgot about that. Well... Think you can dance and talk at the same time? Uh, absolutely. Oh, I can dance. Okay, Lola. Let's do this. <laughs> Don't let my good looks fool you, Vega. I got my share of scars. <laughs> you remind me of my old CO. Oh, yeah? And who was that? Captain Tony. He was a hard-ass son of a bitch, but a good leader. <sighs> nice. What do you mean, was? Died with most of my squad, protecting a civilian colony from a collector attack. And the colony? It was either them or the intel we had on the collectors. Intel we could have used to destroy them. I chose the intel. Sorry. That's a tough call. The best part was, we didn't really need the intel in the end. Because you were out saving the galaxy by taking down the entire Collector homeworld. Are you mad? You didn't know. You can't blame yourself, Vega. Who says I'm blaming myself? I do. You a shrink too? No, but that stunt back on Mars was reckless. You're lucky to be alive. So? So. Maybe you don't care if you live or die. Or maybe. I'm just willing to do whatever the fuck it takes to end this goddamn war. Maybe you are. But if you're half as good as I think you are, we need you alive. Thanks for the pep talk. Anytime. Hey. Thanks for the dance, Lola. What's with the Lola part? <laughs> Lola, huh? You kind of look like a Lola. <laughs> You're cute. So I'll let you get away with it. For now. 
That's it. Now you made me blush. <laughs> okay then, well, let's go to our cabin. Wait, where's the dog? Let's go say hi to the dog. Hello, puppy. Hi. You need a new name. What about Bolto? Uh -huh. Fine. All right. 